Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on angles in a quadrilateral. The four angles in a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. So if you've got a four-sided shape, the four angles will always add up to 360 degrees. So in other words, this angle A plus B plus C plus D would give you 360. Okay, let's have a look at a typical question now. So here we've got a quadrilateral. It's got four angles and we know three of them. We know 60, 120 and 70. And we've been asked to find the size of this angle X. So if you want to find a missing angle in a quadrilateral, you add up the ones that you know and take it away from 360. So we're going to add up 120, 60 and 70. We'll add those up. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 7 is 15. So put the 5 down and carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So when you add up these three angles, we get 250 degrees. Now we're going to take that away from 360. So 360 minus 250. And when we do that, we get 0 take away 0 is 0. 6 take away 5 is 1. And 3 take away 2 is 1. So this angle X is equal to 110, 110 degrees. And that's it. So if you want to find a missing uh, angle in a quadrilateral, if you know three of them, just add the three angles up and take it away from 360 degrees. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some special quadrilaterals. So here we've got a parallelogram. Now, in a parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal to each other. So in other words, this angle, the obtuse one, is equal to the other obtuse angle there. And also, the acute angles are equal to each other. So this uh, acute angle is equal to the opposite angle, which is also acute. So the opposite angles in a parallelogram are always equal to each other. So if we have a look at a question now, here we've got a parallelogram, and we've been asked to find the sizes of angle X and angle Y. So first of all, we know that this angle is 60 degrees, so the opposite one, Y, will also be equal to 60 degrees. And if we want to find the size of angle X, what we're going to do is we're going to add the two angles that we know, the two 60s together. And if we take that away from 360, we'll see what's left for the other two angles. And then if we half it, we'll get what X is. So we're going to do 60 plus 60. So 60 plus 60 is equal to 120. And if we take that away from 360 degrees, that leaves us with 240 degrees. So in other words, X and the opposite angle add together to be 240 degrees. And if we half that, so if we divide that by 2, we're going to find the size of x. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. Uh, zero. So the angle x is equal to 120 degrees. Okay, our next quadrilateral. Our next special quadrilateral is a kite. Um, a kite has got a line of symmetry vertically through the top and the bottom like so. So the two, uh, two opposite angles, the, the ones on the side here and here, are equal to each other. So for instance, if this was equal to 140 degrees, the opposite one here would also be equal to 140 degrees. So here's a typical question. It says, work, here's the kite, work out the size of angle X. So here we've got the kite, we've got the top angle's 80, the one on the right's 110, the one on the bottom's X, and this one's missing. Now because it's a kite and it's got a line of symmetry, this one will have to be 110 degrees also. So we'll just add these three angles up together, so 110 plus 110 plus 80, and we'll see what we get. So 0, 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10, so put the 0 down and carry the 1 and 3. So these three angles add up to 300 degrees and if we take that away from 360 we see that 60 degrees is left. So the angle X is equal to 60 degrees. Okay and our last special shape we're going to look at in this video is a rhombus and a rhombus is just like a parallelogram um, apart from obviously the sides are all the same length but the opposite angles are the same also. So this angle here the obtuse one is the same as the opposite obtuse one and the acute one here is the same as this acute one here. Okay, so the question says, sure is a rhombus, work out the sizes of angles X and Y. So the opposite ones are equal, so Y will equal 105 degrees. And then like in the parallelogram, what we're going to do is, if we know this is 105 degrees, if we add those together, so 105 plus 105 is equal to 210. And then if we take that away from 360, we'll see what's left for X and the opposite angle. So 360 minus 210 is equal to... 150 degrees so x and the one opposite is equal to 150 altogether and then we just half it so we just half 150 degrees so if we divide that by 2 we're going to get that that is equal to 
75. So the angle uh, angle X is equal to 75 degrees, and that's it. So the main thing to remember is that the angles in a quadrilateral will always add up to 360 degrees. If you know three of them, just add them up and take a reference from 360 to find the missing one.